Hi everybody, Gogov here. The keen-eyed among you will realise that I'm sitting in a sidewinder. Well, oh, what's happened here? Has Gogov lost all his money? Has he spent it all on rum? Bad bet on the horses. No, there's actually a really good use for this little ship. And um, we're talking to somebody yesterday about this. Um, it turns out that some people haven't come on to this yet. I know most people probably know all about it, but there are some people out there who don't yet. So let's try and clear that up. Basically, ship transfer. It gets very, very expensive. For example, um, get the menu up. I've just moved bases. Let's do that anyway while I'm at it. That's done. I have just moved bases as I was saying and to get my I mean it's my uh, cutter one jump it costs 1 million 45,000 credits and that's quite expensive if you've got several ships to take over or you've got a lot of jumps to do or both so what you do then, as you see the Corvettes, 0.7 of a billion. These are probably cheap enough to kind of, you know, bring them over if it's not too far. So what you want is one of these, a dodgy cab. Basically, you do it up as an explorer. It needs a fuel scoop because you might be wanting it to go quite a long way. You'll only be able to put a class 2 fuel scoop on it, but that's not really a problem. It's only got a little tank, so it'll still fill up in a reasonable amount of time. Light and everything, you don't need weapons. So what you're doing is basically, when you bring these across, seven minutes, one jump. So you're gonna sit there and wait for seven minutes or you might get on with something else. Isn't it more fun to go and get it yourself? And to move this around for the same distance is only 2,000 credits. So you're saving a fortune, having a bit more fun. And who knows? I mean, give it a funky paint job. Do what you like with it. It's not a ship that you're going to use for anything else apart from your own convenience. It's a cab. As I say, it will need a fuel scoop. But do it first. And what I mean by that is, like, get the thing ready to go. Because a friend of mine was in a system and he wanted to move some stuff. So he thought, yep, yeah, I'll do that. I'll get the sidewinder. I'll put that together. He only had the eight light year jump range. And he couldn't get a frame shift drive without doing three or four jumps. So he's got to do that before he moves any of his ships. And that tends to make it, you know, a bit of a palaver. But if you have this thing hanging around, it doesn't stand you in any money. So it's not like, oh my god, I'm going to need those 20,000 credits back, or the 30,000, or whatever it is. And you've got a nice little cab that you can use. Bring it down anywhere, really, really cheap. It's far cheaper than any other method of moving your ships about. And to be honest with you, um, it's not too sad, this. It's got a jump range of 40 light years. So if I'm coming back from, say I left, wanted to leave a ship in the Pleiades, I'd call for this to come down. And then I'd come back to do my other stuff. And it wouldn't take me that long. It wouldn't cost me that much. Okay, that's a frame shift drive. I mean, what I've done with this. Um, modules, modules, modules. As you can probably see, two D thrusters. That was the smallest shield, lightest shield I could put on it. I've given it an FSD booster. That's to bring that up a little bit. Obviously fuel scoop. But everything as you would an explorer and this will give you years and years of good service 
I hope that's been helpful. Go Gefell.